students i am ami uza your maths teacher i hope you all are doing good practicing maths at home be safe be at home be safe okay now let us begin with our new chapter chapter number 9 lesson children today let me introduce you all to a new term called decimals lesson 9 let's start are you ready okay we have already studied about fractions now let us look at some interesting fractions here in this figure six parts out of 10 are colored that means the shaded region represents 6 10 In next figure three parts out of 10 are colored that means the shaded region represents 3 tenths it can be written as 3 upon 10 similarly 15 parts out of 100 is written as 15 upon 100 29 parts out of 1000 is written as 29 upon 1000 the fractions 6 upon 10 3 upon 10 15 upon 100 29 upon 1000 have either 10 100 or 1000 as their denominators such fractions are called decimal fractions thus all of you please repeat after me a decimal fraction is a fraction whose denominator is either 10 100 or 1000 very good kids this fractional number can be represented in decimal form also here 6 upon 10 is represented as 0.6 similarly 3 upon 10 is represented as 0.3 15 upon 100 can be represented as 0. 15 and 29 upon 1000 can be written as 0.029 now numbers 0.6 0.3 0.15 0.029 are called decimal numbers or decimals So let's learn and understand all these in detail in this lesson. Decimals. A decimal number has two parts. One on the left side and the other on the right side of the point. Can you see this point? Let us look at this number. 12.34 the dot or point in between 12 and 34 is called decimal point the number to the left side of the decimal is called as the whole part thus 12 is the whole part The number to the right side of the decimal is called as the decimal part. Thus, three four is the decimal part. Here, decimal point separates the whole part and the decimal part. 
the number of digits after decimal point are called the number of decimal places. Number of decimal places in 12.34 is 2. Number of decimal places in 56.789 is 3. In 56.789, 56 is a dash part, whole part. And 789 is a decimal part. Kids, are you feeling comfortable? Do you understand this? Now, let us go further. Students, you must have used this type of blocks in lower standard. At that time, we were tricking one box is equal to one. A grid of ten boxes is equal to ten. And a grid of hundred boxes is equal to hundred. Now, here it is not the same. So, let's change the value of these blocks to understand our decimals more clearly. Let's suppose a grid of 100 box is equal to 1. Then, a grid of 10 boxes can be written as 10 upon 100. By cancelling zeros, we get 1 upon 10 which is 0 0.1 so now our grid of 10 boxes is equal to 0 0.1 now let us take a single box which can be written as one box out of 100 so 1 upon 100 which is equal to 0 0.01. Let us practice. Practice makes the man perfect. Now kids, let us do some examples pretending a grid of 100 is equal to 1, grid of 10 is equal to 0 0.1 and a single box is equal to 0 0.01. What is the value of the following? Let us do our first example. Here we have a grid of 100 is equal to 1. Whole. This is a grid of 10, 0 0.1. And another also, 0 0.1. So two grids will be 0 0.2. Now, here are four separate boxes. The value of one box is 0 0.01. Similarly, all other boxes are 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. So, four boxes together will be 0 0.04. Now we can write our number as 1.24. Next example. Grid of 100 is 1 whole. Grid of 10 is not given. So we put 0 in its place. One separate box which is 0 0.01. Now we can write our number as 1.01. Here we have three grids of 100. So it is 
वन 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 दैट इज थ्री होल हियर ग्रीड ऑफ टेन इज नॉट गिवेन ऑल्सो सिंगल बॉक्स इज नॉट गिवेन सो नाउ वी कैन राइट अवर नंबर एज थ्री एंड डेसिमल पॉइंट बट एज वी डू नॉट हैव ग्रीड ऑफ टेन एंड सिंगल बॉक्स वी राइट जीरो जीरो After decimal point, that is three point zero zero. It can also be written as three. Next, in this example, a grid of hundred is not given, so we write zero in place of whole number. That is before decimal point. There are two grids of ten. So it is zero point one, zero point one each, and two together is zero point two. There are two separate boxes. The value of each box is zero point zero one, zero point zero one. So two together. Zero point zero two. So the number is zero point two two. Children, write these examples in your textbook, page number one forty four. Okay. Now try this on your own. Let's draw a number line. and show decimals on it decimals on a number line we are having number line here from 0 to 100 and we divided into 10 equal parts each part is 10 so we write as 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 And hundred. If we are having a number line from zero to ten, similarly, if we divide it into ten equal parts, each part is one. So we write it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if we go from zero to one. and we divided into 10 equal parts do you remember what each one of those parts called it's a tenth so we write it 0.1 0.2 0.3 0.4 0.5 0.6 0.7 0.8 0.91 For clear idea let us take some examples Mark 2.8 on the number line Here I have drawn number line with many parts made on it at equal distance Now the number given to us is 2.8 Two point eight is greater than two, but less than three. So it lies between two and three. So let's mark two on the number line and leave ten parts: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tenth part is three. Now first part is two point one, then two point two, two point three, two point four, two point five, two point six, two point seven. We got our two point eight. 
So this is our required point 2.8. Let us complete 2.9. So we got our 2.8 on number line. Now next is little different from the one which we did just now. Here point A is given and we have to locate point A between 3 and 4. The space between 3 and 4 is divided into 10 equal parts. What will be the value of A? Let us start from here. First part after 3 is 3.1. Then 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9. Okay, we have the answer. But let us complete 3.6, 3.7, 3 3.8, 3.9 and 4. So, A represents 3.5. Okay, that's all for today. Try this on your own. Always stay safe. Keep smiling. May God bless you all. Thank you. Bye.